Well, we officially made it to Mullet Bay and we've made some big time rookie mistakes already. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is finally time to get off the ship. We have docked in St. Martin, which is a port we've never ever docked in yeah, before or been, been to. Before. Yeah, that's right. So should be interesting for us. I think our goal is to get to Mullet Bay today. Yeah and see what that beach is Very like. Very pretty. <laughs> yes, it looks like a great beach to go to, so that's what our plan is today, and then get back onto Icon of the Seas and maybe do some water slides maybe. if there's time. We're trying to find a way to ride the rides and slides yeah. when there is no lines, and I went up there this morning and there's hardly anyone there. There's a couple people doing them already, but our goal is that one of these ports is to ride some of the water yeah. slides without having to wait in a long line. But today we're going to the beach and that's what we're about to head off the ship to do and hopefully it's gonna be amazing. We had a great view outside of our window but then a ship pulled in so I can't show you what that looks like but we'll show you what it looks like here. Yeah, maybe just... later. We officially made it to Mullet Bay and we've made some big time rookie mistakes already. Oh, now you're laughing? So if you guys do come to Mullet Bay, it is a really, really nice beach, but I would totally recommend that you guys get a reservation for a place to be at because you really definitely need an umbrella. There's really no other place to sit, kind of like some of the other beaches we've been to. So you definitely want to get a reservation. So Jennifer well, there actually- there is a place but you have to get here early to get it. Yeah. Which we didn't. Super early. So you have to be super early. So you're not getting off the ship first to grab a chair, you need a reservation somewhere. So we actually walked to the very end of the beach, I would say the north end of the beach, and there's some trees and things like that that you can sit under, but when you have kids who want to eat and do all this other stuff, you definitely need reservations for somewhere to go to. So that's what we ended up doing. Jennifer walked over here to this place and they were nice enough to find us a place even though they were completely booked. So we're making the best of it. We're going to stay here for a little bit and probably have to head back to the ship because there's not actually a lot the kids will probably eat here actually. So the other thing, uh, the water is actually pretty rough here today. Uh, but I think the one beach that's closer to the port is actually nice and calm. And so that's probably more recommended for families with kids who don't like to get into the waters, or especially when there's bigger waves. We'll give a more in-depth review of what to do, what not to do when we get back on the ship because right now we're going to just spend as much time as we can here and enjoy what we can and then yeah, probably not last very long, but it is a really, really nice beach. So what's nice about being here at Mullet Bay, like I said, there's not that many people here actually, especially when if you walk all the way down to this side of the beach where this kind of rock cliff is at, there's really not a lot of people. We were way down there underneath these trees. Like I said, that's actually a really nice place to be at if you don't want to pay for tables and chairs and things like that and your kids don't need food. When we got here, we arrived way down here, right where all these umbrellas and things are at. And so we walked all the way down here, which is the less crowded place, obviously, because most people don't want to walk this far. The sand is a little bit difficult to walk in, so be prepared for that, and it's a little hot. So make sure you guys are wearing shoes that you can walk in the sand with. So like Jennifer said, you wanna get here real early and you can get to tables and chairs closer to where you get dropped off, which I think they dropped us off at a place called the Watering Hole. And there's a little taxi pickup service right there as well. If you walk all the way down here, you can probably uh, find out later what uh, this place is called, where you can make a reservation. You probably wanna do that pretty early in advance before you go on your cruise. That will certainly help things out. The cool thing is, Mullet Bay is actually really close to Maho Bay, which is where all the planes come in. You can actually see the planes come in right here. Maho Bay is real, literally right around the corner so you can get that experience obviously not coming right over your head but you can get that kind of similar experience here at Mullet Bay and again without the crowded hand of sardines of people crammed onto that little beach. <laughs>
can fly your drone here. It's just a little sketchy because the planes are literally coming from just right over here and then of course landing over here at Maho Beach. So you got to be really aware of where all the planes are coming and going because sometimes they'll miss the landing. They'll have to turn around and kind of fly over in this area. So you have to be real cautious with that. So if you're new to flying, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you're pretty good at what you're doing, it's probably feasible. Of course, you have to accept all these liabilities when you first open the drone app and things like that. Basically saying that uh, if anything crashes, it's on you and they'll track you. So make sure you guys are aware of that, but totally worth flying out here. It's so beautiful. I mean, just so much to see. The water is perfect. It's blue. It's a perfect day to be flying, not high winds or anything like that. So that worked out well for us. I don't know what to know yet. I've tried some time. Okay guys, if you're up for a hike and you want pure seclusion from everyone, all you have to do is climb up that rock face. It's actually not too bad. There's just a couple of spots where you have to really have a little bit of strength to get up. So if you have kids that can do all that and all that kind of stuff and you don't need to use the facilities or order any food, this spot right here guys is paradise. It's actually a nice shade trees everywhere and you have perfect view out, out here to the ocean and see all the planes coming by is absolutely spectacular view from up here. everybody look at the most expensive hairstyle I've ever seen not gonna reveal the price just don't do <laughs> don't it, do it. <laughs> I thought I mean like well they get you well first we were just gonna do like a strand or something and she was like oh well that's 20 I'm like, oh, okay but then she was like but then we're like well we'll just braid this so it gets pulled back and and then she was like, each braid is seven, but like they don't tell you how many braids you're doing. And they're tiny, so like they did Aria's full head without me knowing. Like they didn't tell me they were doing her full head. Look at Aria. Aria, let me see. Wow. You know, you got like gold on your head, girl. <laughs> you look freaking crazy, but I love it. You like it? And you're sandy. Woo wee. Well guys, I was gone for a little bit and they spent our entire budget on hair braids. <laughs> we have just enough money to get back. Yeah, I was counting. I'm like, oh god, I hope we have enough money. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Alright, well I'm gonna go get in the water and then we can probably start packing up and head back to the and ship. And you're gonna carry me to to the head Very back. pretty. Anyone who comes here, it's amazing. We have kids that do not enjoy the beach, so I cannot enjoy it. Yeah, we have Better to do. Better luck at St. Thomas. We have to do other things. So hopefully at St. Thomas, which is supposed to be the most beautiful beach in the world, we'll have a little bit better luck. You're gonna get in the water with Daddy? Hello? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Get that hair wet. Woo! Another one! <laughs> wow! Huh? 
You want to pee pee on me? <laughs> Definitely way too rough to be swimming out here. Yeah. Alright guys, well we're heading back and this is the name of the resort. You gotta check them out. They've been amazing, they really helped us out and yeah. uh, the food wasn't so bad either, I don't think. No. I didn't have any mom and the kids had some, so. We ate french fries and cheese sticks. We had some fish, but dad didn't want it, so. Yeah, I was gonna it wait. pretty good though. I was just gonna wait until we got back, but yeah. So, that's the name of the place, uh, awesome place. Definitely, I think if we come back, this is where we're gonna be. Oh yeah. So. So Definitely nice make reservations. To fit us in somewhere. Yeah, we absolutely. We didn't have reservations, and one of the guys was very nice to let us have a little spot to ourselves. So yeah, that worked out. Absolutely. So that made the day much better. So we're heading back to the ship, and we'll give a full rundown of everything else when we get there. Well, after that insane water splashed on me there at the very end of the- You still have tons of sand on you. Uh, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> I feel like getting back on the ship, I was walking there. You could probably follow me back from when we boarded. There's a trail of sand following me all the way down. I can feel it literally as I walked, just coming down my leg and uh, took a quick shower and still haven't got it all off. That was some crazy yeah, waves the there. Bad. I mean, like I kind of said before, if you're going to that beach, make sure that you're a really good swimmer or if you're with kids, if they have a life jacket. If you're with young kids, probably not the best spot. No. It's very beautiful, but very, like, yeah. you're going to get knocked over and your kids Well, I mean, there was over. a little part of the video on one of the GoPro where there's this older lady, she had to be at least 50 years old, got, and it was while me and Aria was there, just got wiped out and you can see in the background she's rolling around. I mean. <laughs> And you can get just sucked out into the ocean yeah. really quick. So you got to be careful with that. I mean, that's why I was with Aria at the top of the beach. I mean, we were still getting kind of thrashed around with that yeah. kind of water. So good day, but we definitely learned a lot today. Yeah. Totally agree. So starting with the One. port. Starting with the where we got off and getting attacked. Oh, yeah. Let's start Forgot there. Because there, like I said, there's a lot we have to cover here. <laughs> and like I said, we're major rookies. We've never yeah, been here before. Here, so, um, so everything was new. Yeah. So here's a little helpful tip. When you get it off and you want to get a taxi, there, it's like chaotic, right? Like almost most yeah. ports, it's kind of like that. But so with this one, there is an entire line dedicated to Maho Beach because apparently that's where everyone wants to go. Yeah. I wouldn't really go there to be honest with you. The beach is so small and there's just tons of people there. So I, I mean, I would avoid that place as much as possible if you can, unless you just really want to see an airplane uh, come landing. But again, even at Mullet Bay, I mean, we saw tons of yeah, you planes, see planes coming they in. Just flying right yeah, not right over top of you. So you gotta, Still, you gotta, close. yeah, you gotta make a decision what you really want to do. But so there's an entire line for that at the taxi area and. Basically, you need like a wristband. You have to get a wristband and then you can get in line. But that's only for Maho Beach. Yeah, because, I mean, we were told so many different things by different people. We got in that line and then they were like, no, you need to go back where you were standing. Because yeah. we were standing in front of a sign that said Mullet Bay, which I thought it, we didn't know if that was just a poster. Yeah. Like trying to like basically say, hey, you can go here. Or if that was <coughs> what you're supposed to do and stand in that line and it comes out, that's what you're supposed to do and stand in that line, which is, we kind of had a right, but we didn't know that. So basically, stand in line and they just gather a bunch of you up and shove you into a van. There you go. Yeah. Basically, like 12 people can fit in a van and you all yeah. go to Mullet Bay together, which is good. It's, it obviously makes sense, kind of like getting everyone yeah. together. It's just, it's not very clear. So make sure you guys understand that. And if you, again, if you're taking a taxi ride, getting to any of those beaches, it doesn't have to be Mullet Bay, it doesn't have to be Maho Bay. There's other signs there yeah. that people are standing there. So just be aware of that. I know my arm's getting tired. <laughs> so many pro tips on this. So, okay, so. Two. Yeah. Book 
a resort or yeah. resort, like some kind some of place. like unless you're getting off the ship right when the gangway opens and going straight to the beach, you need to book somewhere at St. Martin because we got there and everything was full. It was hot. We have kids. Yeah, it you was have miserable. To, you have to, to have an umbrella. You have to have chairs. You have to have yeah. that kind of stuff. Like I Michael said, Michael went under a tree. I'm like, oh, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of places out there. Like I even showed you guys that up on the cliff. Obviously, if you have kids, it's hard to get up there and things like that. There's tons of places you can go without having to pay for that. You just gotta keep in mind you need food, you need drinks, you need yeah. all that kind of stuff, and especially if you have kids. So keep that in mind. Definitely make reservations. Yeah. Three. Yeah. What else you got? Three <laughs> is leave with enough time because oh my gosh it took 30 minutes or so to 45 get there 45 is what the lady said oh. it took us 45 minutes which was longer than we had planned yeah. to begin with yeah that's true and so we what we had like two hours yeah we, we left we, at three yeah we, so had, we had two and a half hours to make it to our which gateway which typically is like tons of time yeah. i'm not worried about that like never ever concerned about that but guys it took us two hours to get back. Two whole hours. The the island is just not prepared to handle. We well, had five ships. There's in port. just one road is the problem. There's yeah, like one, literally like, one road that you can take. Very narrow. And we hit like all the schools getting out. We should. I'm gonna. Michael should insert some pictures here that I took of him because he was freaking out. Well, yeah, because I mean, to, I mean, guys, two hours to get back and it, it it's not even that far. But the problem is the driver. We were going back the same way we came, and he was like, no, I'm going to go the long way. We literally, I don't know if you know this, we literally went around the entire <laughs> island. Meaning, when today driving we there, saw the whole yeah, driving today. there, we went one way, the quickest way, direct access to it. The way going back, he decided to go through the French area, back through the Dutch, and in. I mean, he was trying. So yeah. Like, I don't fault him. I mean, I think he was trying to make it quicker, but it's like. But I think it would have been quicker had we not hit the schools getting out. That's the part. Yeah. We hit so many school kids getting out and things like that. We literally were sitting there for it felt it was like it felt like an eternity. Thirty minutes for like two miles. And so I'm sitting there on my phone just watching a Google map. Of course, I don't have any data or anything like that, so I can't see what the traffic or estimated time of arrival is. So. You know, you're really concerned, and or at least I was concerned. I'm like, oh my God, what are we gonna do? He was I freaking mean, out. You just saw the time in, because you're just seeing that you're so far away from the port. You're on the other side of the island because of the way he went, and you're like, it took us 30 minutes to get to this point. So are we actually gonna make it? And I wasn't worried. Yeah. Michael was making me worry, but I was not worried. I Je had faith. Yeah, Jennifer wasn't worried, but we did make it back. We only had 30 minutes. Yeah, we got to get on the ship at 5:04. Yeah, which is the latest we've ever. So guys, with this stuff, I obviously I left to go fly the drone and do things like that. And there wasn't a lot of people like trying to sell us stuff at the beach, which was good because Jennifer was reading that uh, one of the Facebook groups that we're a part of for the Icon that uh, a lot of the beaches that they went to, people went to, they were getting just hammered with people trying to sell them stuff, which is typical again for a lot of the places that but we go. But it does make it miserable. Like yeah, that's one it thing sucks. that can like make an experience feel like. It wasn't that great. And, and at the place that we were at, nobody, literally hardly any. There was only one or two. I had a few yeah. ladies. Only, I think, mostly because I had kids. Yeah. Had I not had kids, they probably wouldn't have bothered me. Yeah. But, I mean, like, it was, like, maybe four that came up to me. Yeah, and so by the time I left and came back, Jennifer's like, I pretty much spent all of our money. I was like, well, hopefully we have enough money to get home. So she was already stressing me out the whole time about just trying to get back on and have enough money to get back onto the ship. But that's our, all the learning tips that we learned today going to Mullet Bay. Totally cool place, awesome place. One of the Very best beautiful. places I think I was able to fly a drone, which, again, really sketchy. Yeah. Beware of that. But anyways, those were the tips and tricks. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you get something out of it. We're hungry because I haven't eaten all day, so we're going to go get some food right now. Oh my god, we found Rover. <laughs> yeah. I knew I would find Rover looking my worst. Well, we were, uh, me and Isla were standing in line to ride the carousel, and then right behind me, I was like, is that a dog? Oh my god, yeah. that's Rover. And Isla, it took Isla a little bit to understand. And we ran over and we got to meet her. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yeah. 
Well guys, we totally forgot to end the video last night. We were having so much fun. Can't believe we saw <laughs> Rover. Like I she came out know. of nowhere. We were just standing there in line and I was on the came. table with Aria and I was freaking out. I was like, Michael, and I didn't even see you. <laughs> I didn't hear her say that. I was just standing in line, like I said, at the uh, carousel with Isla, and just I just happened to just turn around, and there she was. I'm surprised she was at Surfside. Yeah, I was completely surprised she was there, because usually I would expect her to be away from wh where a lot of the kids are, because she, I do feel a little bad for her, because she kind of gets bombarded a little bit by all the kids and guests that want to see her. But it was pretty, like, chill at that time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so we rode the slides last night. It was late last night. They, apparently the slides open up until 9 o'clock every night. Now, not all the slides were open, just the ones where... Oh, lens flare coming in. Not all the slides were open, just the ones with uh, three of them. Three. The two raft slides yeah. and then the one drop was that's, open. That's right. So that's a great time to actually ride the slides because there was hardly anyone in line. We never really waited that long to ride, so Five it worked out really well. Yeah. So we're officially here in St. Thomas, a place we've never been before, but like I said, we're just ending this video, so we'll start a brand new video here in just a second. So make sure you guys are liking and subscribing because this is a brand new port for us, so it should be interesting. Hopefully we don't make all the same rookie mistakes we let made yesterday. So. Well, we officially made it to Mullet Bay and we've made some big time rookie mistakes already. Check, 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 check it out! What, 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 what's it all about?